So what we have here is we have a industry standard fuller with a GT advanced technology, continuous Tarkovsky feeder attached to it. What we've done is we've <clears throat> implemented a hopper design which holds the feed material. That hopper design supplies that feed material into the chamber, which is transporting the feed down this pull tube, or down this feed tube. From that feed tube, it goes into the puller, into the crucible, into the melt. During this time, we're also drawing out an ingot. So we're growing an ingot, we're pulling it into the pull chamber continuously. And no time do we stop the feed unless we are harvesting that ingot, and at which time the ingot can be removed. Because of the uniform resistivity that we're seeing in our ingots, we're able to address one of the uh, issues in the industry of light-induced degradation. We're able to now dope with gallium continuously with our feed, and that allows us to eliminate the light-induced degradation in our ingots. The advantage here to a continuous Tarkovsky method or continuous CZ method versus a batch process is during the batch process, you have a fixed amount of feed that goes into the crucible at any one time. Once that ingot has been drawn out, once all that material has been drawn out, it has to be recharged. In this method, we're continuously feeding, no recharge, it's an increase to productivity for the customer and a, a decrease in the amount of downtime that the customer sees.